story tonight. A child accidentally ingests cocaine in a Virginia Beach motel room, and his mother wants to know why drugs were there in the first place. Ten on your side, Ann McNamara joins us live now with more. And Ann, they actually took pictures. Pictures of all of it, the cocaine, the crack pipe, the animal feces, and the, actually they really took pictures of everything. They have them on our website, wavy.com. They gave this motel not one, but two chances, and the experience just kept getting worse. His name is Jemai, and he's 11 months old. Jemai Portis came to Virginia Beach with his mom, April, to meet his grandparents for the first time. Because the baby wakes up during the night, April reserved room 223 at the Motel 6 on Euclid Road. Just a really bad experience. As you can see, Jemai is teething. He likes to put things in his mouth, like a spoon he found on the floor of the hotel room. His grandmother noticed first. And she looked and she was like, look at this. And I took it from her and on the back of the spoon was all burnt up. And on the top of the spoon you could see all the residue from the cocaine on it. Worried, April called police. They said the spoon tested positive for cocaine. An ambulance rushed Jemai to the hospital. Horrible, because I don't, you know, I don't know if there could be a long-term effect from it. Motel 6 gave April a refund for the first night and moved the family to room 105. Her father explains what they found there. It was kind of bent down like this, saying, I don't see anything, I don't see anything. And when I went like this, it's right there. That's when the crack, crack pipe fell out of the other side of the bed on the floor. Ten on your side confronted an employee at the front desk. Would you want to stay in a room with a cocaine spoon on the ground, cat poo in the corner? You would have to talk to my manager about all of that. And with these pictures, the family hopes a higher authority and maybe the health department will make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. Everyone, my vacation, her vacation, everybody's vacation. Just to be clear, the hotel room we shot that story in tonight is not property of Motel 6. The front desk employee at Motel 6, though, tells us we can speak to a manager tomorrow morning. Tenor Your Side also plans to contact the health department Monday when it opens for business. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. And to see a slideshow of the family's pictures, be sure to go to wavy.com.